Hello everyone, we will continue the topic. What are the various SAP ABAP learning sources available or from where we can get the reference material of SAP ABAP? And as a part of that, I explained in the previous video, if you have the access of SAP system, use F1 help or technical information. That is best way because while writing the code also, if you stuck somewhere, use F1 help or technical information. And along with this, I explained how you can go for function module documentation also. Now, in this video, we will go for extremely important, or we can say heart of SAP in terms of documentation. We have the transaction code ABAP DOCQ or we can go for ABAP HELP. Firstly, ABAP DOCQ. Full form is itself explanatory ABAP documentation. It means whatever the documentation of ABAP is there, it is available into this ABAP DOCQ or ABAP HELP transaction code. Before I go for this transaction code, I will just go for recap of the previous video because it will directly target this transaction code. Suppose in the previous video, what we did, I went to SC11 transaction code. I simply, simply do F1. When I did F1, one pop-up opened and I clicked on to the reference documentation. When I click here on the reference documentation, it is navigating me. It is navigating me to the documentation. And whatever this pop-up is, whatever this documentation is opening, suppose if I will minimize this, whatever it is opening, it is your ultimately a PAP docu transaction code. So whatever you are doing through F1, same to same is navigating you to a BAP docu transaction code. Suppose if I will simply, simply close this. Suppose if I will go for view and I'm doing F1. So whenever I will click on to reference documentation, it will ultimately navigating me to a BAP docu transaction code only. If I will do F1, it is already open. Okay, yes, it's open now. Suppose if I will click here on to dictionary view. So it will take me to a BAP docu or a BAP help transaction code only. So this is your a BAP docu or a BAP help transaction code. Whenever I will run this transaction code independently, you will say yes, it is ultimately a BAP docu or a BAP help, tra help transaction code. So maximum time people, what they will do rather than going for F1, F1, they will simply go to a BAP docu transaction code. They will check a particular topic and they will learn. Suppose if I will go to a BAP docu transaction code and show you. Suppose I'm going to a BAP docu transaction code. Once I will put this transaction code, SAP will give the information here displaying a BAP keyword documentation. If I am pressing enter, you can see it will give me the information displaying a BAP keyword documentation. It is your a BAP keyword documentation. And you can see we have so many things available here. Suppose, now suppose I, want, I will show you, suppose just now in the previous video, I we did F1 on the view and we are learning view. And ultimately, whatever the documentation opened, that is a BAP docu only. Suppose here, if I want to go for view through a BAP docu transaction code, just put views here. So it will search into this where the views are available. I will put enter. And once you will be able to see, yes, you will say, oh, it is same to same. Suppose if I will click on to view, I will just take this pop up here because it is available in the sub part. 
So I have to go for more about. Now you guys, you can clearly, clearly understand this ultimately whatever you did through F1, it is ultimately a back to transaction code only. Suppose in the previous video, I showed you how you can go for parameter or select option. How you can search if you want to go for the syntax of parameter or select option. How you can do. Suppose if I will go to a back doc. Now what I will do? I will search for parameters. Suppose I will simply put parameters. Now you can click here also on quick search or you can put enter. It is totally your wish. Suppose I will go for parameters. Now it is getting parameter at so many places. I will go for parameters a BAP statement. And you will realize it is same to same. In the previous video, I showed you if you are going for type options, it will show you what are the various ways to declare a parameter. Same to same thing is there. Suppose in the previous video, I showed you about select option. So what I will do, I will go for a back talk to. Now I will put select option. Suppose I will write select options. And many times people do this only. They will just go for a back talk to and they will do everything. So we'll go for select options, a back statement. Now you can see in the previous video, I showed you how you can go for four, how you can declare a select option. What are the various screen options available? Obligatory is there, no extension, no interval. So this is the way how you can use a back to transaction code. Now, same to same thing, if you are going for a back doc or a back help, one and the same thing. Suppose if I will go for a back help transaction code, I will just go for OK. And you can see ultimately we are getting same to same thing. This is our ABAP docu transaction code only. So you can go for ABAP help or you can go for ABAP docu. Now one important thing. Yes. Have you seen we are able to see videos how to use the ABAP keyword documentation. Now how to use the ABAP keyword documentation in SAP GUI. SAP provided a video, YouTube video itself. You can simply, simply refer that particular video. How you can use all the features of a BAP docu transaction code into this SAP GUI because ultimately it is our SAP GUI. We are currently working in SAP GUI. Suppose if I will click here. It will take me to the link of YouTube where this video is available. You can see we have a dedicated video which SAP prepared. This video will guide us how we can use a BAP talk to transaction code in the best manner. Yes, please, please refer to this particular video because here you have so many things how you can go for quick reference, how you can search in the sub area. So just refer to this video which SAP provided so you will get the full clarity how you can use the ABAP talk to transaction code in the best manner. Now I will go for one important part here. Now same to so same because this videos SAP just provided recently. Suppose if you have the old system and if you are going for a BAP docu transaction code, you will not get the videos. Suppose if I will go for a system which do not have the latest, which is not the latest system. Suppose I am going for which is not the latest system. In that case, whenever you will go for a BAP docu, you will not find the videos. So how you will go into that particular case? So I will go to a back docu. And you can see we are not finding anything related to the videos. So people will ask, yes, I'm going to a back docu, 
but I am not finding the videos, YouTube videos, which SAP provided to make use of a BAP talk to. So what you can do in that particular case, anyways, in the future, I will go for a dedicated video on help.sap.com. But as of now, what you can do, if you are, you are not able to find the video of a BAP docu in a BAP docu transaction code, just do one thing. Go for this particular URL, help.sap.com. It is SAP help portal. Anyways, we'll cover in full detail. Now, here, what you can do, simply, simply go for browse all products. Whenever you will go for browse all products, just scroll here, you will find a bag. Just click on to a bag. Now, you will be able to see same to same thing. Have you seen this is a BAP docu transaction code only? Yes. And here you will be able to find the videos. Anyways, in the future, I will tell you, yes, help.sap.com, how we can find the BAP documentation because so many people do not have the access of SAP. So how they can learn a BAP through internet. So that part will also be covered. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I told you or I explained a BAP docu or a BAP help transaction code. Word itself is saying a BAP documentation. Full documentation of a BAP is available into this a BAP docu or a BAP help transaction code. Go for this particular transaction code. Then I simply told you, if you are going for F1 or if you are going for technical information, ultimately it is navigating you to a BAP docu or a BAP health transaction code only. So if you want to directly go for a BAP docu and if you want to study, it is totally, totally your wish. So you can put simply a BAP docu. Suppose I showed you how you can go for parameters, select option, view, database table. Whatever the topic you want to study. So you can just simply, simply double click and you can read that particular topic. Then I covered one most important thing. Yes, now SAP provided the videos also. Very, very good video, explanatory video of a BAP docu transaction code. Just go for that video. It's a five to six minute video. Yes, where SAP explained how you can effectively use abuse a BAP docu transaction code to learn the a BAP documentation because those features will help you to reach up to the topic in an effective manner because documentation is very big. If you don't know how to go effectively, ultimately it will waste your time. So just refer to that video, it will help you. Next, if you do not have the latest system, you might not be able to find the videos because SAP recently prepared those videos. Yes. So in that case, what you can do, you can simply, simply go to help.sap.com URL. Yes. There you will find browse all product. Once you will browse all the product, you will find a back. Once you will click on to a back, you will be able to find this particular a back link. And ultimately, you will realize it is just like a BAP docu transaction code only. You can go for videos. You can simply click here and you can go. Because see, if you do not have the access of SAP, still you can learn. Still you can go for a BAP keyword documentation. Anyways, in the future, in next one or two videos, I will come up with help.sap.com also because ultimately it is also your BAP documentation. In the next video, I will explain how you can refer the SAP sample programs, how you can go for demo programs, which is given by SAP through a BAP docu transaction code. So that's it in this video. Thank you.